welcome back to the channel so today i'm coming on to do um, a one sheet wonder using the frosted foliage um stamp set this is um retiring unfortunately and um, it's still available well should still be available as part of our year-end closeout okay so if you haven't already got this set and wanted it that's a gentle reminder um, not to leave it too late, okay? So we're going to do a one sheet um, wonder today using these two um, images and also the the this little sentiment. So I'm just going to basically make a card background. Make my own DSP as they say. Now I am going to use, I um, need a big block for this one. I'm going to use cherry cobbler and cherry cobbler and what colour? Oh, cherry cobbler and blackberry bliss. So let's get the blackberry bliss out. And I will either cut this up and line it onto um, blackberry bliss cardstock or I have some cherry cobbler here. Right, so let's um, let's go for it. Right, now, I'm going to use this one. And all we want to do, and this is still simple stamping because um, you're just experimenting, basically. Now, I didn't stamp that image correctly, I'm afraid, but that's absolutely fine. Make sure everything's inked up properly. Okay, and we're just randomly adding these um, foliage plants or whatever they are. They're adorable, they're very Christmassy anyway. And you could always, if you have time, add some a pop of colour to these using your stamp and write markers. Or your um I'm gonna go off the page that one. Or your um stamping blends, it's entirely up to you. So I'm just coming in with some part images around the edges because I want to make this look like it is a DSP that has um, just been randomly cut. Okay, which is fab. Right, a couple more bitties. Awesome. Right, I'm going to add the little one in now in between. Just clean that off as I go. Okay, so, no, it's not quite clean. Always clean your stamps. Always clean your stamps. Right, now. Where did it go? My other one. Did I leave it in? Did I even take it out? Oh, right. So we've got a stamp stuck to something somewhere. Oh, here it is. Got it. Panic over, panic over. Right, now, this one I am going to see how it looks stamped off in the Mary uh, Cherry Cobbler. Or whether I should keep it its full value. Yep, I think I will. So let's randomly stamp. These could be upside down, to the side, off of the paper, anything you wish. Do you like it? Um, we'll go put this one in here. Okay, just randomly stamp. This one comes off the page. You can see how quick it is. Okay, one in here for luck. Right, now. What I want to do with the sentiment um, is just go random with it as well. Now what I will do, if I load it up onto here, I'll just pop it on at an angle to see if me getting the um, bigger set out. Okay, I think I will stamp off with this. Let's see. Yeah. To stamp off. I'm just going to add these in random. You might not like this, um, but I'm just giving you ideas for um, different backgrounds. You can do whatever you like. Okay, you can use other sentiments if you wish as well. And obviously, there's going to be some gaps in in this um, one sheet wonder. So I will um, utilise another stamp set, I think. 
It's different anyway, isn't it? <laughs> it is very different. Yeah, I like that. I'm not scared to be different. I'm not scared. If you don't try, you'll never, never know. Right, okay. Now I'm thinking, maybe the um, You Were My Heart would fit in some pieces, but I don't think so, so I'll just change my mind on that again. Um, and what I'll do is I'll grab another stamp set, a Christmas one. Let's get one that should tie in, just so that... Um, I'm going to use Holly Jolly, because I think this lovely belief sentiment would be um, nice. So let's pick that up. Now, what I'll do with this one, I'm going to see what it looks like in the um, Blackberry Bliss stamped off. What if I should do, I'll do the full strength. That's what I'll do. So I'm just randomly stamping the word believe. Upside down, round the wrong way, part off the paper, doesn't matter. Just want to fill this um, piece of very vanilla with some lovely Christmas sentiments, okay? Do you like that? See how it all comes together eventually, okay? Right, I'm trying to see if there's any other obvious bits. Right. Um, one more, I think. I need to find a little snowflake stamp or something. I'm just um, quickly waiting my, waiting my cloth to clean my stamps. Right, you can see it goes everywhere, these inks, when you're um, having fun like this. Right, now, right, I'm going to grab another stamp set, so give me a little second. And I'm going to use the Forever House to Yours, which is retiring. So sad. Okay, now, I think I'll use the little... I'll use the little snowflakes, okay? The last time I used these, I used these with the Wisp of White. Um, let me make sure that my stamp is clean. I um, don't want it falling off. Right, now, let's um, do this in Cherry Cobbler. How gorgeous. How beautiful. And again, this is just filling in some gaps especially in between where the colour schemes are very similar like if two Blackberry Bliss bits are too close together um, up here let's do one down there and you'll get the gist of when your paper is full enough this might be too busy for some people, but all you do is simply um, don't add as much of the other stamped images. Eee, maybe, 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 any more gaps? A little gap there. I mean, you don't need to fill in absolutely all parts. Um, I think that will do. Right, hang on. No, I need one in here. Okay. And I need one up here and I don't like to leave the corners blare, blare, bare so I'll pop some in there as well smashing done look how juicy that is I've got it everywhere but it's not transferred to my cardstock which is fab it will be on my fingers now though Oh, dearie me. I do love getting all in. Inky. Inky, inky, inky. And one more thing I'm going to do is little hearts. This is from the Our House to Yours as well. I'm going to put it in a smaller block. I do have smaller blocks in this, guys, but um, it's, they're a wee tidy. Right, let's have some Blackberry Bliss love hearts let's add that into the mix this is where you feel all arty farty 
Oh dearie, dearie, dear. It's very pretty. It's very busy, but um, you will see that um, it all comes together once um, we cut it up and start making some cards. Right, okay, I'm going to clean that off and add some cherry cobbler hearts. Right, come on, come on. Beautiful, beautiful colours. So, isn't that pretty? I do like that. Can you tell I'm having fun? That's what it should be about. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, where am I lacking any other little hearts? I'm just going to put half one up there. I'm going to put one here. Half of one here off the side. So you can see how it's coming together quite good. Um, Put one here, uh, there's a little smudge, so I'm just covering that up with a wee heart. Du, 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 du. Right, I'm trying to think where else before I pop this away in here. And in here. And you could use, um, you could stamp on top. You know, if it's a solid image going over a part, a part um, image you could stamp over the top or add a little heart off the side of your flourishes or anything or add a little heart at the end you can do anything you like it's your cards your designs right that's out the way can you see how um much this has actually stained my block for the minute i'm just going to quickly clean it um before i forget i may have to wash it in soapy water though it's a bit better. It's just they're so so strong these colours. Right, okay, so that um went completely different to what I thought. <laughs> do you like it though? I do like it. Right, let's get it cut up. I did have a practice earlier. Did not go to plan. Um Hence why I'm doing the one sheet wonder. So, get me trimmer out. Just try to tidy up as I go here, guys, or everything goes absolutely everywhere. Now, where's my trimmer? So, it doesn't matter what way you're cutting it, because it is all higgledy piggledy all over the place. Um, obviously, there's. Some more that are upside down, so I'll go this way. That's not been meant at all. So I'm going to do, cut it at four inches. And again, cut it at four inches. Okay, that's just the only bit scrap. And then we're going to cut this at five and three quarters. And again, at five and three quarters. And that is because these are, whoops, our top layers. Okay. So there's two. Let's cut these down. Another one. I'll cut this down to five and three quarters. Brilliant. Right, so that is four card fronts. Um, you could keep these plain as you wish. You could play around with them to see what direction they're going to go in. Isn't that adorable? Just on its own. Let's get that stuck down. Let me see now. Let me try this one. That is lovely. I do like that. I do like it. Yep, we're going to stick these down. They're going to be very plain. And see how I've recycled card. You can stamp on the back. The only thing is a wisp of white sometimes, depending if it's wisp of white and you've used quite strong, just try to get my ink out, quite strong um, colours. It will shine through, but it won't on the wisp of white thick. 
so it's entirely up to you. Right, so I'm just popping that down. Okay, I'm going to get some Blackberry Bliss. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We just put it. It's awful. I really need to tidy out my paper. Oh, you know what? Let's let's use Made in Merlot, which is a similar, in this in similar colours. Not too fussed. Where did I put my trimmer though? Off to the side. So we'll get two cards on this. So I'm just simply going to cut this at five and seven eighths. Okay. And this one is five and seven eighths. And then we fold it in half or score at 4.1. So there's one. Here is two. And we need one more, so let's grab the cherry cobbler. And I think this is, yeah, there we go. Here's, here's one I made earlier. I do need to buy more Blackberry Bliss. Um, when you get down to um, the last few sheets and you're filing them in with your other cardstock, it gets quite hard to find things. <laughs> I'm just, uh, things don't jump out at me like they do other people, so. Right, let's get these stuck on. Da -da -da -da. Give me a second to fix the glue. You really need to store it upside down. It's so thick, this glue. Um, it's rather annoying. But it does its job till I get my tumble. Right. So, let's pop this down. And of course, as always, with dark cardstock um, bases, you really should put an inner layer into your card as well. Unless you want to handwrite it with, you know, one of the posh white gel pens. Um, or we have a chalk marker as well that we offer at Stampin' Up! But I'm not, uh, I can't get to grips with it. Um, it's maybe because it's been sitting so long that... Um, you know, the ink's not in the nib. I really need to kind of use it to get the ink flowing a little bit better. Another card. Like it, I like it. Right, now, if I was organised, we're at, what, 18 minutes now. If I was organised and had all my cards... Um, my card stopped beside me, and etc. We could have made all this in 15 minutes, probably. Okay, so this is simple stamping and stamping your own background. Use two colours, but like I showed you, you can stamp off to get um, various different colours. Um, let me see now. You can see here there's a the first generation stamp, there's a the second, etc. And it's really just about playing because um, that's the way that you learn. And if you make mistakes as you go, that's absolutely fine too. Um, you'll have noticed I'm not putting this um, banner section on, um, but that could go across the bottom. If you fancy cutting more um, cardstock out, you could put it up the side and cut it as a little banner as well if you want. Um, but for today, I'm going to keep these cards nice and plain, just as they are. And off screen, I will add in some inserts so that I could send these to people um, for Christmas cards. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye now.